Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ned. Today we are back with some more Discord.js coding. Today we're going to be going over the kick and ban commands, and let's say you have someone like Deshaun, for example, who just wants banned, or say you have Andrew who just complains about your server all the time. You need to kick him and ban him. So we're going to be doing that today. Um, let's hop right into the code. Um, it's going to be a lot like the last episode. So if you watched the last episode, please do that before watching this one just to get a hang of it because I am going to be kind of flying through some of the same code we've been doing. So I am. with that said, I am going to start copying and pasting some stuff. Um, basically, you want to get... So the command... Let's just go ahead and get the bare bones for it. Command is equal to... And then we'll have an object here. Prefix kick we'll do the kick one first so we're gonna return of course and then we want the command to look like this so kick at Deshaun asking for it so this is gonna be the reason asking for it's gonna be the reason at Deshaun's gonna be the user and then that's gonna be the prefix and command of course so let's go ahead and start separating stuff out so let uh, kick user, we're just going to use k user, and it's going to be the same thing as this. So I'm going to go ahead and copy paste that. And then if there's no k user, if, okay, sorry, I can't type. If exclamation point k user message dot channel dot send can't find user. And then let k oops k reason equal and then we want to oh I forgot to return that return and then we want to do args dot join with spaces dot slice twenty two and just like the last episode that's gonna get rid of the user ID that's gonna show whenever you do mention them. And that's going to join these arguments, one, two, and three, with spaces. So now we go to start building the embed. Let kick embed equal new discord dot rich embed. Parentheses enter. And then we're going to set description here. And we'll just give it a string. We'll call it kick. And we'll spice it up with those tildes. Or not till days, whatever they are. And then we want to set color. We're just going to set color. Let's grab a color real quick on Google. And we'll set it to an orange. -ish. Like a dark, not brown, dark orange. Deep orange. There we go. Set that there. And then we're going to add a field, add field, kicked user, and then we're going to put, we're going to do back ticks because we want to do two different objects with some text in there as well. We're going to do kick user, so k user with id, and then another object, dollar sign, curly bracket as always, k user dot id. And then add field, kicked by. We've been through this before, basically. Then we're gonna do, so we haven't set up who it is. We're just gonna do message.author. Here, let's get the object set up first. Message.author.id. And then we're gonna put a greater than sign on here. And then we're gonna do a lesson and then an at sign on that side. That's just going to mention them and get there so the name is clickable. So with ID, and then we're going to do another object, and this is just going to be the same thing, message.author.id. But we're not going to put the, sorry, the greater than and the less than an at sign. So add another field. Um, we can say kicked in and then we're going to do the channel location 
So it's just going to be message dot channel. And then we're going to do another field, add field. Time, we'll just do oops, message dot created at. And then add field, reason, and then we'll just get the reason. Oops, K reason. If I can type, there we go. And that. And like down here, we do want to make sure we have an incidents channel. So make sure you make a channel that's called incidents or something like that. Um, however you want to set up the channel is up to you. Just make sure the bot's in there. So let kick channel equal message dot guild dot channels oops, dot find backticks name and then we'll find incidents since that's what I called mine so if kick channel does not exist can't find it message dot channel dot send can't find channel or let's say incident there we go so kick channel dot send kick embed but first we want to make sure we can kick the user so I did forget we do want to check for one thing if okay so if actually we need to do this after so we'll put it down here. If message dot member dot has permission, and we're gonna give it manage messages. Since this is a moderator type um, command, we're gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of permissions as well. So normally moderators have the permission to send or manage messages rather. So if they have that, we're going to allow them to. But if they don't, we're going to return a message and channel dot send no can do pal. All right. So now that that is set up, we also want to check. So if K user and then we'll do has permission. Then we're going to also return message.channel.send. That person can't be kicked. So basically, it's just checking if the person they're trying to kick, like Deshaun, had the manage message. Oh, I forgot to add that. Has permission, manage messages. Having all kinds of brain farts tonight. Sorry, you guys. Um, if they have that permission as well, then they can't be kicked. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and kick them. So this is pretty simple. Just message dot guild dot member k member dot kick reason. And we'll put k reason. And that pick up right k user. Derp. All right. So that should be good then. Let's go ahead and try it out. Go ahead and start up the bot. Kick Andrew Boy. Being a Debbie Downer. All right. So he's off the server. It is logged in here. It looks fine. That all works. Let's do basically the same thing but with ban. So I'm going to go ahead and just get this and copy and paste it, but we are going to need the bare bones. So let's go ahead and do if command is equal to backticks prefix whoop, and then ban and do this return. And I'm just going to change a bunch of the code from before because it's basically all the same stuff. I'm just going to change this to things like B user and then B reason. Whoops. Yeah, B reason. B user. Ban embed. Keep 
the naming convention same ban and then we're gonna give this a different color we're gonna give it a deep red right there delete that and then band user and then we're gonna change this to a B for band user and then change this as well sorry I'm kind of flying through this guys it's the same stuff just a different end res resolution here so band by band in Oop. I guess I didn't notice that band I guess we can name this incident channel We'll just put that there. Works for me. Maybe ban reason. And then, of course, the only different thing in this one is going to be the end game here. So let's go ahead and do this. Message.guild.member. B member. Or B user, rather. Dot. Ban. And then we're going to go ahead and put B reason. As long as that works, and we're going to do and send it. Is it a channel to send? And then ban embed. All right. So let me just glance over that. I am going to change this to. Okay. So I'm just going to change this one to, let's say. Manage members. That's pretty fair. I believe that one should work. Let's go ahead and check it out. Start up your bot. It's online. Let's go ahead and try it. Ban at Deshaun. Asking for it. All right, so it did work. We have the embed here. There's a reason, there's a time, all of that. So, that is done. I hope you guys enjoyed, learned something from this. I will be back next Wednesday with another episode, and I hope you guys have a great time till then. See you next time. Peace.